Praise the Lord. Good night. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege, beloved and friends, to be here back this Wednesday night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord. Everyone is in good health and happiness, regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, Jesus said in his words, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic that Jesus Christ himself promise to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making in a sick and sinful world. He promised to be with us in all circumstances. He said in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling welcome tonight god bless you richly it is a great joy and privilege once again beloved and friends to be here this night uh, to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord. Everyone is doing well tonight uh, by the grace of God. Sincerely, beloved, uh, I release from the depths of my heart uh, and I pray that God will bless you uh, physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area in your life uh, and whatever you do, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. I pray that God will bless your homes tonight. Uh, God will bless your marriage. Uh, God will bless your children tonight. Uh, God will bless your finances. God will bless your business. He will bless you on the job and give you favor and promotion and divine protection on the job in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give him a big hand tonight. Isn't he awesome? Isn't he great and mighty? Tonight, beloved, I cover everyone under the precious blood of Jesus. I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness tonight my friends beloved relatives and family I apply the blood yes upon your life in the name of Jesus, every curse that come against your life, every spirit of witchcraft, opia, demonic forces, evil, blights, generational curses, whether first, second, third, or fourth generational curse, I reverse, I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, whom the Son set free, is free indeed, every chain is broken, every barrier is broken, every fetter is broken, I release prosperity and satisfaction, divine health, in the name of Jesus, let's give him a big hand tonight, in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name for he said in his words healing is the children's bread and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him yes my friends and with his stripes I am healed you are healed we are healed in Jesus name yes healing belongs to the child of God true peace joy and happiness belongs to God tonight for God is a God who fight battles in a way we cannot understand his ways are not man's ways he worked in ways we do not we cannot understand yes my friends God worked in ways so different from the way the world work things out and that is why we need to trust in the Lord for the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies God anointed my head with oil my cup run it over and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me 
all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever yes my friends sometimes I speak as a pastor and sometimes I speak as a prophet and God has been showing me certain things make me smile sometimes to see the way that God works things you know in America it's not a joke there but it's serious also my friends and beloved to see how the Democrat Party is after Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump, and make this man very popular. Can you imagine when he came out of power? in 2000 yes my friends when he came out of power yes praise the lord yes my friends a couple of years ago the next election will be next year 2024 but when he came out of power he was hitting the headlines all the time and they keep this man in the limelight and make him more famous as i prophesy and i says he will not go to jail he will net not get a jail sentence and he will be the next the 47 president he will get a second term in 2024 he will be the president of america and make america great once again he says prophet are you biased no i'm not biased tonight but what i'm telling you my friends and beloved yes that man god is fighting that man battle he is 77 years today i want to say happy birthday to a great fighter not 007 but the perfect man in the ways and the sight of god yes he was a rich man in fact he is a rich man he is not going into power for money or wealth or nothing else but he all the time he was fighting for the people fighting to save america fighting to make america greater fighting to save that beautiful country you think he had to go through all he went through no my friends but god is fighting his battles and as long god is on your side you will emerge a winner yes my friends and beloved that's all for politics but sometimes at the church we do not need to speak about politics but sometimes do you know in some churches the, 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 the churches are worse than the politicians yes some leaders are worse than the politicians politicians take it from the prophet i know what i'm saying today praise the lord father god i pray tonight that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the holy spirit anoint mortal man of clay anoint my lips anoint my tongue as i minister your words your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the holy spirit that many will be healed many will be saved Many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. This night I want to speak on the ap apocalyptic yes, passage of Second Thessalonians tonight. The apocalyptic passage of Second Thessalonians tonight, beloved. I want to speak a little on that. Hallelujah! Praise God! And I trust the Lord that this word will be a blessing to your heart. Second Thessalonians chapter two reveals to us what will happen before the second coming of the Lord. Second Thessalonians chapter two. Verses 3 tells us to for let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except they came a falling away first. Yes, my friends, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of man, the son of perdition, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worship so tonight that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself, showing himself that he is God tonight. The, the two Bible verse tells us that before the second coming of Jesus Christ two things need to happen yes on this order one Paul literally said Jesus will not come until there is a great falling away in the church beloved and friends to the man of sin the man of sin which is the Antichrist in person yes the, re the reveal of the man of sin praise the Lord the scripture foretell the emerging, emerging of an individual in history who will be influenced by Satan himself and will bring deception to many people yes will particularly deceive those who 
reject the truth, utilizing deception, miracles to mislead them, known as the man of sin or the son of perdition. My friends, he will be the master deceiver, capable of misleading people from all walks of life. Yes, friends, from the highest to the lowest. Praise God, educated to the uneducated, influential leaders, my friends, the ordinary citizens of this world, those with religious or secular beliefs, none will be immune to his deception. My friends, the Antichrist activities will be shrouded in mystery fuel by the hidden power of Satan and the devil and accompanied by counterfeit miracles, false signs and deceitful wonders all across the world. The source of the Antichrist deception, deceptive power lies in the depths of hell itself as he energized by God, by the God of deception himself, this dark force will grant him the ability to carry out his deceitful agenda leading multiples astray beloved and causing great confusion and spiritual harm he will exploit the weaknesses and vulnerabilities of humanity yes appealing to the desires and preying on the lack of discernment my friends the man of sin will be an unprecedented figure in the world history he will eventually be revealed and will exalt himself above all that is considered godly he will boldly position himself as a replacement for God in people's lives becoming an idol to be worshipped beloved and friends Satan desire to be worshipped will be fulfilled through this man of sin as he deceives humanity and presents himself as their savior praise god this deceptive figure will promise his followers peace yes and joy and in the presence in the present world rather than focusing on the hope of heaven yes our future world he will convince people that he possesses what they need in here and now luring luring people luring them into his society where he will be required to receive his mark in order to engage engage in buying and selling there lies my friends one of the many differences between Jesus and the Antichrist yes Jesus did not uh, direct people attention to solely to the pre present mo present moment he moment he understood and emphasized it the very nature of this world Jesus consistently pointed people towards the eternal kingdom of heaven redeeming them to the glory of his father's house he encouraged them to set their minds on things above and not solely preoccupied with earthly matters beloved and friends however tonight the world we live in today is consumed by a focus on the present life. People are fixated on the immediate, neglecting to consider what comes after this life. Many devote considerable time and energy to planning for retirement and seeking financial security. Yes, falling, failing to recognize that retirement is not a guarantee yet. One thing is absolute certain is entirely very in every individual will spend eternity in their in either heaven or hell second corinthians chapter 4 verses 4 clearly tells us tonight the god of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of christ who is the image of god my friends the message of the gospel compels us to complete the eternity and confront the truth today the present moment is not everlasting my friends the God of this age has vile the minds of those who do not believe preverting them and preventing them from seeing the illuminating light of the gospel that reveals the glorious nature of Christ beloved and friends tonight we need to understand in due time in due 
time the man of sin will be unveiled, captivating a lost world and claiming to be the source, the source of all the hopes and the remedy for all the wounds. My friends, he will actually present himself as God by making assertions that are exclusive to a deity for the more tonight. He will be, he will demand adoration that is reserved solely for God himself. Year after year, numerous theories arise concerning the identity of the man of sin. One moment he is speculated to be, uh, the, uh, be a president, the next, uh, next uh, prime minister, and then a wealthy businessman. Yet when the man of sin emerges <coughs> on the globe stage, there will be no difficulty in recognizing his true nature as the Antichrist. Beloved and friends, the second thing Paul says will happen before the coming of Christ is that there is a great falling away in the church. Yes, the identity of the man of sin, the Antichrist, remains undisclosed, beloved and friends, while certain biblical scholars suggested that he may be alive in our present time. This assertion true, plausible, cannot be identified, conform. Nevertheless, one, one certainly remains the fact that the spirit of the Antichrist is already present in the world according to 1 John chapter 4 verse 2 through 3 we can discern the spirit of the spirit of God by acknowledging that Jesus Christ came in human form therefore affirming our connection to God conservatively any any spirit that fails to recognize Jesus is not of God but emanates from the spirit of the Antichrist tonight this spirit has been prophesied to arise in the world beloved and friends it is already active within its observing the world around us we can discern the spirit of the Antichrist at work in various realms all across the world it is evident in governments the entertainment industry new channel businesses and even educational institutions yes by examining the direct society is heading is heading and the values being glorified the presence of the antichrist spirit becomes apparent in different aspects of our lives regrettably my friends the spirit has also infiltrated churches with the proclamation of unbiblical doctrines and the emergence emerging of new religions associated with the antichrist in the present age caution is essential not a as everything claiming to to be Christian aligned with the truth today it is vital to discern the authenticity of Christians music for a significant portion may not truly reflect Christian value similarly not every individual who stands behind a pulpit holding a Bible is generally born again. Again, the Bible forewarns us that some will de deviate from the faith, succumbing to deceiving spirits. Beloved and friends, embracing false teachings. Yes, thus it should not come as a surprise, my friends, when we encounter churches promoting false doctrine or witnessing unfortunate occurrences within them. The Bible has explicitly informed us of these eventualities. The spirit of the Antichrist seeks, hallelujah, to deceive even those chosen ones of God, my friends, contributing to a greater falling away from the truth. My friends, false doctrines and teachings which are already present in the church will be instrumental in achieving this. These teachings will appear convincing causing people to reject the truth of the gospel they will provide a license for indulging in sinful desires and living in a state of sin 
beloved and friends within the church uh, numerous false teachings teachers uh, will arise disseminating enormous doctrines uh, and teachings these uh, individual will not emerge from the world uh, rather they will come from within the church itself is uh, disheartening to realize that even trusted teachers uh, can allow the spirit uh, of the antichrist to influence their hearts uh, yes my friends an illustrative example uh, of this occurred several years ago when a group of preachers within the church began spreading false teachings regarding grace, salvation and the kingdom of God. Their doctrine placed an excessive emphasis on God's grace, distorting, distorting it into an excuse, my friends, for unrestricted sin. They problematized the notion that God in his abundant grace and compassion will Will be concerned if his children persist in a lifestyle of perpetual sin. This distorted teaching quickly gained popularity spreading across churches, my friends, as is granted believers to re reform, to live according to worldly desires. It was alarming to witness, my friends, how readily many believers embrace this false teaching and program it to others. The, the, the alluring this teaching was the aligning with the, the desires and preferences of individuals. However, tonight it must be recognized as a false doctrine and it led believers into sin. Led them astray, my friends, from the truth of God's word. Moreover, tonight, yes, praise God, the word of God in Romans chapter 6, verse 1 through 2 tells us, warns us against abusing the grace of God as a license for sinning. Yes, and what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? That grace me upon tonight yet God forbid tonight how shall we that are dead to sin tonight live longer with therein my friends tonight any teaching that inspires or gives liberty to sin is a teaching from the spirit of the Antichrist and is heading towards the falling away of the church. Perpetual life of sin, my friends, will cause a believer to backslide. Accepting false teachings shows our lack of understanding about the word of God itself and the doctrines of God we claim to believe. You see, my friends, teaching like this are inspired by the spirit of the Antichrist to fulfill the scriptures that say quote my friends except there come a falling away first hallelujah and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped tonight so that he as God seated in the temple of God shooting himself as he he is God therefore my friends as believers to Tonight, uh, there is a great need for us to be prayerful, prayerful, vigilant, and stand on our watch. Hallelujah. So the spirit of the Antichrist through false teachings will snatch us away from God Almighty. Hallelujah. Praise God, my friends. So in tonight, I want to encourage you to walk in the spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk in the spirit of God. God, the Holy Spirit. You cannot make it on your own tonight. You need God, the Holy Spirit. Tonight, God says in his words, he is not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. That is why God is warning us about things that is coming to this world my friends hallelujah he says in his words come now and let us reason together save the lord though the sins be a scarlet it shall be white as snow, though it be like crimson, it shall be as wool. My friends, this world is not your home. As Jeremy says, we are just passing through. This world is heading for destruction. This world is coming to an end. Right very soon, we're heading for the rule and the reign of the Antichrist. Very soon, we're heading for the new world order, the one world government, the one world currency, the one world religion. Yes, my friends, very 
soon be heading for the tribulation period of seven years but before all these things happen one two things have to happen my friends the rapture of the church has to take place with is the restrainer the who is the restrainer God the Holy Spirit is restraining many things yes is restraining Antichrist from not taking over the world anytime the rapture take place it will be the beginning of the seven year tribulation period where the Antichrist will rule the world and plunge the world in great darkness you're heading to the battle of Armageddon in 2030 my friends and beloved it has been a great joy tonight to be here to minister the word of God I trust the Lord that this word has been a blessing to your heart tonight, uh, beloved and friends. But before I go tonight, uh, I want to have a brief prayer with you. I have prayed for many this morning already. But those of you listening to me from the USA, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, or any part of this world, I want to tell you tonight, uh, tonight is your night for a miracle. Tonight is your night for healing. Tonight is your night for deliverance. Tonight is your night for salvation. Are you ready to receive from the hands of God tonight? He said in his words, yes, my friends, healing is the children bread. Yes, the first covenant God make with man is healing. My friends, Jesus Christ, when he walked upon the face of the earth 2,000 years ago, he took the sicknesses of man upon his back, 39 stripes. He was beaten with the cat and nine tail, according to medical doctors. There are 39 major sicknesses and pain and disease that is plaguing mankind today all across the world. But I'm here to tell you tonight, tonight can be your night for a miracle. Let me go a bit further. Yes, my friends, when God created man, he formed man out of dust and breathed into his nostrils and man became a living soul. So tonight, my friends, is no big deal. Are no big thing for God to give you a brand new organ, a brand new tissue, a brand new part in your body. Yes, my friends, I know many are sick tonight unto death. Whatever sickness, if you have stage four cancer, if you're suffering with AIDS, COVID, diabetes, heart problem, liver problem, lungs problem, blood problem, a blood issue, a blood dialysis problem, prostate cancer tonight. God can touch you and heal you tonight. Tonight, if you're blind, you're dead. If you're dumb, you're lame, God can heal you tonight. He can give you brand new eyes. He can touch you and restore your hearing. And he, though the dumb will talk tonight, yes, my friends, if you're suffering tonight with depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, tonight is your night for a miracle. Yes, my friends, if you are demon possessed tonight, I command those demons to go right now in the name of Jesus. If you have diabetes and your skin and bone your blood is messed up God is touching people with diabetes tonight he is healing your blood you're gonna re regain your weight you will not die but you will live those with full stage 4 cancer yes and the cancer is burning out your inside you will not die if you're feeling a burning right now it's God the Holy Spirit is healing you right now in the name of Jesus yes many are receiving their healings those of you with the growth in your stomach God is burning out is disappearing right now yes my friends those who are listening to me tonight in your living room in your dining room in your kitchen in your car in your office on the street with your phone in church or right here tonight tonight is your night for a miracle tonight is your night for healing and deliverance right now I pray I'm gonna send for the anointing right now be healed in the name of Jesus be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit I see many are here many are saved many are delivered through the power of the Holy Spirit tonight God is working miracles my friends that my great headache is gone tonight that sickness is gone that disease is gone that has sickness Sicknesses leave your body. Go back and check with the doctors. Yes, my friends, that sickness is gone tonight because Jesus Christ is still in the healing business. He is still in the healing 
God write me, text me, call me and let me know what God has done for you. It has been a great joy and a privilege, my friends and beloved, to be here this night to minister the word of God. God bless you richly. I love you very much in the love of God. Do have a sweet night, dress. In Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name, amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>